Hey guys, and welcome to Pokemon Showdown. Just a few battles from PU. Going to be using this fairly interesting team I cooked up with Harvest, Starfberry, Trevenant, and seeing if I can get that to pop off at all. So let's get straight into it. Alright, found our first opponent. Um, I can see a few things where this might have problems. Particularly that Gorgeist. So I'll lead off with the Basculin, I think. See if I can't draw that out early. If he stays in here, he'll lose his he did not lose his Lapras. Okay. Well, that's a, a one for one trade, not the best for me. Since Lapras served as my Gorgeist law. But uh, Gorgeist is out anyway. See if I can't get rid of him here and now. So that I can hopefully sweep the rest of the team with Trevenant. He is, annoyingly enough, bulky Gorgeist, which, to be fair, most of them do run. Okay, switches to Mowal. I like that. Respectable play. Oh! You don't see that much, though. That's an aggressive Mowal. Straight for Sucker Punch? Interesting. Uh, rock up while I have the opportunity, because this Mowal cannot do anything to Karkol. He goes out to Heat more. Okay. Um, Stomping Tantrum, possibly. Focus Blast. Um, so, ground or fighting moves, probably. So, I think... I'm going to go into Fracture. Oh, okay, knockoff. Interesting, interesting. Um, I think my response to that is to double out to my own Heat Maw. Because more than likely, Moa might come in again. And even if he stays in, yep, Sucker Punch, thought so. What's he going to do next? What's he going to do next? Who knows? Let's see. Knock off? Okay, that's fine. It's a bit annoying, but I'll take it. Go for a body press. Try and wear some of his mons down. He's only seen Will O Wisp and Stealth Rock so far. He does bring in BEM. Um, that's very scary for me. But it might actually be an ideal time to try and set up... Oh, never mind. I was going to say try and set up with the Trevenant, since BEM's slower than Trevenant most of the time, but... Doesn't seem like I'm going to get the opportunity. Um, I think it's probably safer to KO here, because I still haven't gotten dealt with that Gorgeist. Actually, I'm going to go with Earthquake, just in, in case he decides to switch. Just a Volt Fire Call. Oh, he does switch, but it's into Gorgeist. Reveals my Staff Berry. Might not know what that does. I don't think many people know what that does. I'm going straight into Heat Maw. Light Screen, okay. Leech Seed Light Screen. Sees I go for a Fire Lash. His Gorgeist is getting worn down by switching in repetitively. 
most Soul Valleys are physical. Um, I, I'd say Soul Valley is probably one of the biggest threats in PU right now, just because of its potential moveset variety there. What can he go into? Um, yeah, this absorbs the burn. But doesn't really do anything else. Has he got Drain Punch? It's possible. Super. Okay. I think we bring in uh, our own Heat More in response to this. What's he going to switch into? Sil Valley? I could do with wearing Sil Valley down a bit. BEM. Okay. Now the issue is that if he brings in Sil Valley here, my best switch in, or my only real switch in, is BEM for the time being, because I need to conserve the health on my Trevor for a little bit longer. So he doesn't get killed before his staff berry shenanigans can start to activate. So I think I just stay in here. Oh boy. He starts dancing. I think this game might be over already. But let's get the Trevenant a try. Oh, you turn okay. Sacrificing his plus two attack. I'm not entirely sure I agree with that play, but straight out into heat more to die to the earthquake. All right then. Interesting, interesting. I don't know what moves this Gorgeist has, but if it doesn't have Shadow Ball or Shadow Sneak, I might be able to one v one it with Trevenant just by wearing it down. See if I can sub up on the... Oh! Wow! Okay. Oh, that killed unboosted. Oh, this game's over. Yep, he's just going to U-turn out. Bring in something to die. Bring Silver Valley back in and finish me off. Let's... Oh, okay. No head comes out instead. I was going to say, unless by some miracle I live U turn and one hit Mawile, but. <sighs> okay. I, I appear to have lost this game. Drop him a GG because this was a very close game. I did enjoy it, to be honest. played it well. I respect it. Okay, next up we've got an Ice Q, which is pretty interesting. The fact they allow Ice Q in this tier seems a bit ridiculous to me, but I've never had problems with it, so I can't complain too much. Um, I think a Ghastly lead's quite possible. Yep, okay. The only, the, the only real problem for a Heat more here would have been a Basculin lead, because I don't have a reliable switch into Basculin. Now the question is, is he going to Destiny Bond? Yep, okay, saw that coming. Now we Thunder Punch, just in case he goes into Basculin. Oh, no, it's Pain Split, okay. Wasn't expecting that, but Heat More's not too necessary this game. Uh, works best as a check to Ivysaur, but it doesn't even excel in that regard, so I'm happy getting some damage off on this Basculin before I go down. I'm not seeing Life Orb, so it's likely Choice Band, in which case I can just go straight into Trevenant here, hopefully get up my Substitute. Uh, 
Okay, throw comes in. It's a guts throw. Now it'll probably be slower than me. Hopefully it'll get worn down by that flame orb while I'm subbing to get to low health. The real magic of this set comes in when you're below 25%. Staff special attack, sick. So what Staff Berry does is it gives you a, a random stat plus two when you're at 25% or, really, another one? Okay. It gives a random stat plus two when you're at 25% or less. And with the Harvest ability, you can keep regaining the item for it every turn. However, you do have to get quite lucky to use this strategy effectively. And that's not it. That that wasn't the sort of luck you need. Bad example. So I'll just bring in my fish and I'll just throw the game really. Head smash in case of incoming Ivy Saw. Um, I don't really care about winning this one. I just want to show off my funny meme strategy. But I should respect the opponent at least enough to finish the game. Just, yep, nothing is going to live a psychic on his team, so I might as well just click it. Nah, that's not living. Okay, bye. This is max special attack choice specs BEM with analytic. If it's a neutral hit, it's killing. Okay, looks like he banded himself into crunch this time. Uh, I reckon he'll either stay in and go for another crunch or switch to ice Q, in which in both of which cases I won't car call out. Oh, that's not what I was expecting at all. Uh, this still works though, I can Will-O-Wisp this. The only problem is that sort of removes my... Oh, come on. I'm still happy to stay in on Will-O-Wisp. Stealth Rocks is actually ideal, because it means I didn't take the damage from like a Head Smash or an Earthquake on my Carkle. Explosion, okay. He said lol in chat. I'm just gonna burn the ice cube. Uh, it may have, it might well have liquidation, but Hopefully I'll live one and break its face, as brutal as that sounds. And yeah, I kind of have to just stay in and click the button again. Hopefully he's in first impression range. Now the good thing about this fish being mold breaker is that he's not adamant. Not adamant, sorry? No, not adaptability, which would give him more power. Oh, I, I lived. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, well, looks like we won this game anyway. Attempt three, getting a good game with Harvest Trevenant. Okay, this looks interesting. What am I up against? Little Cup, basically. The lead here is probably Ghastly again. Or Bronzor, that works. Actually, yeah, that makes sense thinking about it. Probably his rocker. That did nothing. What's Bronzor's defense like? Well, I can just stay in and keep Fire Lashing, considering. The fact that the, there's no real switch into this on his team. I mean, the duck maybe, but... 
the duck is trash. Um, I'm completely fine just going straight into Carcoal here and probably taking a close call. Yeah, oh, wow. I can't say I expected that one, though. All right, then. Jeez. Well, Psychic gets a KO here, unless he switches into Greedent, which would be unadvisable. No, he just stayed in and still did 48%. That's got to be Choice Band or something like that. Well, this thing's going to go for, for Shadow Ball, probably. I don't really have a good counter. But Fracture isn't useful in this game. Uh, bring in Heat more. Go for the Sucker Punch. It's three to two down. Um, it brings in Pikachu. Okay, I wasn't expecting extreme speed if I'm being entirely honest, but I guess that happened. Um, if it has knockoff, it could be a bit of a problem. But I know it's not fast, faster than Baskinin, and since it's electric versus water and I'm pretty low elo, this will probably just work. Yep, there we go. And I got static, beautiful. Greedent comes right in, there was no hesitation there. He's he's here and he's belly drumming. And I get fully paralyzed. He's okay, he's stockpiling. Interesting. It's pretty frustrating. Oh my goodness, that did nothing. Keyberry cheek pouch, okay. Out to be um, I guess. Who just dies to a body press. Very cool, very cool. Uh, well, Trevenant's guaranteed faster than Greedon. I made it speed 175 so that when it doubles, it doubles to over 350, which outspeeds everything in the tier. I'm guessing this means that the Greedon doesn't have a way to hit me outside of body press. Um, so I'm completely fine switching Basculin straight back in. Um, because it's only real use now is to deal with the Bergmite or to smack the Greedon on switch in in order to punish this man okay yeah stockpile body press rest sleep talk I'm guessing did this man just leave the game I think he has. Very cool. Well, I'm chalking this one up to a win for me anyway, so I just horn leech this and then inevitably have a stall off with the Greedon. Here we go. Finally in a game. That uh, took a while. Okay. Uh, Thievul, Trevenant, uh, Octillery, all, all moody picks. Uh, moody pigs? Unusual pigs. I was thinking about Octillery's Moody, but I'm fairly sure it can't have it because Moody is banned, I'm fairly sure. Is it? I can't see it here, but either way. Okay, Octopus 1 comes in. Fairly sure we'll just trade. I'll lose my Basculin. Uh, okay, he's just said I will lose in the chat. He, he seems pretty confident about that. I'll bring out my car. Um, this might be banded. Interesting that he's running Seed Bomb. I prefer Horn Leech myself. Uh, okay into Trevenant here. He goes for the energy ball. That's fine by me. Leftovers Octillery. It doesn't have Moody. Very cool. Uh, I'm just going to try and get set up right here. Now the problem with this set is that it does get hard walled by a lot of things. Such as Trevenant itself. Which isn't the greatest. 
Uh, but if I can get an attack boost off here, I can at least kill the Octopus. Defense. Am I going to harvest? 50% chance each turn, and I get attack. That's pretty nice, actually. Protect. Absorb another Fire Blast. How many has he got left? Four. Right, hopefully Horn Leech KOs. Yep. He said of in chat. I, I think that's meant to be oof. OF. With a space in between. Very beautiful. Is this modern art? Danilo Arceus 06. Okay, if Vespaquin comes in, I don't have anything to deal with Vespaquin. But I do still have my Staff Berry, so I'm perfectly safe to switch out here. Um, my team doesn't actually have any good answers for Vespaquin, outside of possibly Heatmore. And if he's running physical Vespaquin, I, I guess Karkol. I don't think I've ever seen a physical Vespaquin before, so I mean, this is a pretty original set. I like it. Might run that myself one day. Still has attack order. I know it lost defend order or heal order, one of the two, in the generational swift shift. Okay, he goes into Trevenant. This thing might well have Earthquake. Oh, I'm just gonna... Phantom Force? Okay. Perfectly willing to... Nice. Let's check whether it does have Earthquake. Whether he's just predicting me to switch into Trevenant. Nope. Okay. He goes into Thievul. I go into Trevenant, that's not the best for me. Um, Thievul is generally special, so I'll go into my Silk Vest Heat more. No, this one appears to be physical. Is his whole team... No, his whole team's not physical attackers, because the Octopus wasn't. Mushrana comes in, which is an interesting choice, um, considering Heat Maw's Heat Lash. Okay, a Hypnosis. What's it going to do with this? Is it Dream Eater? Yes, beautiful, I love this. Yeah. First turn wake, nope. Heal bell to cure the burn, interesting. I'm actually losing to Dream Eater Mushrana, okay. <laughs> nope. Got a bit greedy there. Speaking of getting a bit greedy, Just think, I mean, I've, I don't know why I was thinking he might switch. 172 speed, 175, yeah. I'm perfectly happy bringing Trevenant in here and getting a bit of health back. If he switches, he switches. Karkor works really well as the defensive backbone of this team because it's a defensive stats are monstrous. Particularly its physical defense with a Violite. Um, he brings in Thievel again. Assuming this is physical, I'm going to bring in... Nope, it is special. Oh well. Just click the body press button. Yep. I'd have... I normally see Nasty Plot on them. Ooh, okay, yep. Not seeing any of those heavy duty boots coming into play. He said GG, I don't know if this... Yeah, I think this game might be over, actually.
Lovely guy in chat. Just down to Trevenant now. As I've learned, isn't the best attacker. So yeah, well, good game to this guy. Uh, I still didn't get to do that much of my Trevenant stuff, but I did get to KO an Octopus. Well, it's been five minutes or so, and that guy never came back, so I'm just gonna get started on the map. And words are hard, another match. Okay, uh, leads here. Possibly Lipard, uh, Stunshona, and Titan Knoll's also a candidate. I think Baskinin's probably the best for this. Yep. Does lead with the Lipard. I'm just going to hit Liquidation, see what happens. Press my big nuke button, turn one. Choice Band Adapted, but see Baskinin does a lot of damage. Yep, okay, that's gone. That's one threat off the list. Yeah, he's got a mask of his own. Um, more than likely going to go for a... something. Crunch? That's fine by me. Now, do I stay in? I don't... I think I do, yeah. I don't fear this. Now, does he go for rocks of his own here? I mean, this is his only rocker. He did not go for rocks of his own. This might have been a mistake. But I'll happily take the burn. And just in case he leaves him alive. No, okay. Uh, apart from the Vespaquin, his team is very vulnerable to good old Staff Berry Trevenant. Oh, straight for the attack boost. Go on, harvest another berry. You won't. Give me speed. Nothing was gained. I got my staff berry back. More than likely going for crunch again. But is there a reliable switch in here? Uh, no, not really. I guess no. No, I'm not going to switch my fracturing. Oh, no, he went for liquidation. Shame I didn't get a defense boost, but oh well. I suppose I wouldn't have carried the stun genre there. Maybe I would. Who knows? It did seem to be fully offensive. If he's going for liquidations, I'd rather bring in fracture. Outrage, outrage. Again, locks you. Yep, that's fine. Um, throws a big threat to this team generally. But that's part of the reason BEM's there. Just finish it off with the psychic. Type null comes out. Um, if he starts setting up, he might be a bit of a problem. But he just goes for the aggressive move. A-OK -okay with that. I, I think Liquidation probably does more than Superpower, to be honest, just because it's adaptability and stab boosted. Yep, that's enough to kill, and I don't have to risk being banded into Superpower when the Vesper Queen comes out. So yeah, that's GG. And I got to do my thing with the very the very fun Trevenant, even if it wasn't a complete pop-off. You know, if it works partially, I'll take it. Who's the lead here? Pink, Ur Pink Urchin? There's nothing apart from Trevenant that deals with Trevenant here. So I'm going to lead with Trevenant. Man's name is Orik Samurai, so I, res I expect him to play it with honor. Though I doubt that will happen because this is probably Toxic Spikes Pinch it, Pink Urchin. So 
So I'll get my sub up and then start EQing to persuade him. Hey, you should probably start attacking this thing. Oh, never mind, he's a red card. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, spin's pretty obvious here, so I'll go for Wisp. Okay, apparently Spin isn't all that obvious. Uh, he tried to... I'm gonna assume that was a misclick. I hope I'm not that low ladder. Okay, goes into Fracture. Might well have Stomping Tantrum. I'm still slower than it, even after speed boost. So, I'll, I don't really have a switch in here. And yeah, I don't have anything for Stomping Tantrum, if we're being honest. He's going to go for straight for a Dragon Dance. He, and he's not long like me, so I get to keep my burn there. He goes for a second dra oh, that's brave. That does pay off. No, I can't, he might well be a, a Violite because that's a very small amount of damage considering Fracture's not the bulkiest. The crit's very fortunate though. Now I can bring in my own Haxorus and, I keep calling it Fracture Haxorus. It's just Fracture. I can bring in my own Fracture and finish him off his first impression. This, he finally gave this line a good priority move. Or a priority move. Did it learn Quick Attack before? I don't think it did. I don't seem like the type of Pokemon that would have got Quick Attack originally. Now we have to wait for him to bring in his next mom. Which shouldn't be too hard, I mean, Persian could probably counter me. Revenant does quite well if it's a will o -Wisp set or if it's just offensive. Type Null Belly takes any damage from Fracture because Type Null Belly takes any damage from anything. I mean, the only things he can't really bring in here are the Pink Urchin and the Pikachu because I might have a ground move. And also because I think Outrage kills from that range of Pink Urchin and definitely kills from full on Pikachu. That thing's defenses are like paper. Interesting. I mean, he might well be trying to thunder wave me, not knowing I've got Lumberry. I'll happily just stay in here and go for Outrage, take out the Pink Urchin, because that could, thing could have been a thorn in my side later on. Type Null comes in. It could be Sword Slant, Cross Claw, Rest, Sleep Twelve, which would be an ideal situation, because that means Trevenant, that means Trevenant hard pulls it. But I don't think I can be quite that optimistic. Okay, it's got Hyper Beam. You know what? That really did catch me off guard. Sub up. Um, don't quite know what he's going to do here. If he's fully special, he might have Flamethrower, which is a bit scary. You know what? I'll go for Earthquake, actually. He stayed in. Goes for another... Okay, I am that, that low, you know. Um, and he rests. Please tell me you've got something to hit me. Otherwise this will go on for a while. Oh, you have U-turn. Pikachu comes out. Uh, I can literally just smack this rodent with an earthquake if I want, but I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to let it get me to low health first. I... yep, yeah, okay. 
if you could break the sub, that would be nice. Thank you. Well, on the plus side, I know that my sub lives a hit, but I don't need to now. Go for a protect. He has bolt switch, okay. Uh, more special attack, great. Finish off the Pikachu. Um, Type Null's really not much of a threat. I can try and get some of my health back off of him. Because uh, his U-turn probably will break my sub at this point. Nope. Never mind. Oh no, it didn't eat the um, the extra attack from Pikachu, so no, it was, it was still a full health sub. Let's see how much a Horn Leech does to this Trevenant. If it's fully offensive, it might do a bit. Oh, yeah, it does seem to be. It does have Shadow Claw though, so, which is problematic. So I don't think I'll live a Shadow Claw. So I'll sub twice, get back into range. More speed. Uh, don't need that. Okay, harvest. Nope. Need more attack. Give me more attack. Attack. Defense. Not really helpful when I'm on 2%. Okay, that's fine. Got to see Trevenon do what it to do it does for a bit. I'm quite happy with that performance. Uh, if this thing does have earthquake, I don't think it KOs me from this range. Fix up a punch just in case. Better safe than sorry, I suppose. I know this this will beat Type Null one on one because of Fire Lash's 100% defense drop chance. And Drain Punch being a fighting type move. Uh, I don't know if any of his mods have any IVs or EVs though, because this is doing way too much for that to be a defensive type now. So maybe it's just heavily special attack invested. Persian comes out. I'm fairly sure I can just 1v1 this with Drain Punch. Oh, it's special. Yeah, I can definitely 1v1 this with Drain Punch. Um, just in case though. You never know when it's that water pulse or mud shot Persian with technician. Special Persian is not to be underestimated. I've got an assault vest, but I'm still a bit scared of it. Now I can just fire lash down this type bomb. And he can just try and switch out into nothing with his U-turn. You gonna get a hyper beam? Nope. Okay, that concludes that game. We'll get one more before I end the recording for today. Okay, this guy has a couple of ice types on his team. Nothing that notably resists Trevenant's coverage. And Whiskatch, which is just Trevenant food, essentially. Also has Marwal, who looks like a counter, but Earthquake just kind of takes care of. Who am I thinking he'll lead with? Probably the Pikachu, if we're being honest. Looks like that type of player, so I'll start with Heatmore. Oh no, straight out into the Whiskash. Goes for a rain dance, okay. I go for horn leech. Ice beam's probably coming out here. Um, I mean, not much I can really do about that, but this is a specially defensive Trevenant. Which kind of has its benefits when dealing with Ludicolo. 
Uh, Ludicolo is actually the reason why I invested in special defense. Oh, no harvest this turn. That's fine. Fairly short damp rocks land in this tier, so the rain will go down. I didn't get a harvest either of my turns, which is very frustrating. So it means Glaceon can just revenge kill me. Oh, now I've got... Um, I mean, I live one. I got defense. Sick. Speed? That's not speed. Comes in, tries to sucker punch me. Very rude, very rude. Oh, and he tries to sucker punch me again. Nope, he's not going to switch that up at all. No, that's fine. I'll, I'll lose him. I like my tree, but I'll, I'll willingly admit it's not the best strategy in the world. Either way, Heat more deals with just about all of his team, apart from Whiskash and possibly Lapras, depending on what it's running. And either way, getting the defense drop is nice. So that means that Bastion or Fracture can come in and deal with it. Afterwards, uh, he does go out into Whiskash, as I'd somewhat expected. Maybe I should have double switched, but I'd rather just have stayed in and have that defense drop. Cause Chances are he'll go for another rain dance here. Yep. And now he'll probably go out into Lapras with Water Absorb, I'm thinking. Yep. And that just takes massive damage. It is defensively invested and it's got a Citrus Berry, so it doesn't die in one shot. But we come close. Uh, I think Pikachu is probably coming in just because it's an electric type and I am more water type and haha uh, -ha type matchup good. I'll bring out Fracture to counter this. Best part is that Fracture is immune to that. Um, Moa might well be coming in. So I'll go out into car. If he does stay in and go for a nuzzle again. He did not eat the flame body, unfortunately. Um, Whiskash might well be coming in in response to this. It's fine, get a bit of damage on Whiskash. I think go back out to Fracture. Just in case he goes for a waterfall. No, it just stays in, it does the same thing again. Go for an Outrage here. Yep, he did stay in with Whiskash. Goes for an Ice Beam. Okay, special Whiskash. The more you know. I guess Dragon Dance, Brain Dance doesn't make all that much sense. More comes back in. It's Intimidate Life Orb, which I find interesting. Normally you see Life Orb, Sheer Force, or Intimidate with Leftovers, or another defensive item. I'm going out into Karkor here, see if I can get that lucky Flame Body on him, and I won't take any damage from his attack. Um, getting a willow Wisp on anything now that I think about it is very helpful. Even Whiskash, because it negates its Leftovers. Thank you. The rain goes down. Um, he might well just go for a rain dance again. Again, I'm not risking it. I'm going out to Basket and I've got a safe switch in here. He does go for the rain dance, which just powers up the damage of my moves. I don't know if Moa lives, but I don't think anything else does. 
Uh, Whiskash definitely doesn't look a crit with 32% health. This thing's got 424 attack with adaptability. Uh, I mean, I'm faster. Than There is no longer a Pikachu on the field. And he forfeits. Very cool, very cool. Well, I did say that there would only be one more game. <laughs>